My name is Claude Dufresne. I'm the president and CEO of uh, Niobe Metals. And Niobe Metals is a Montreal-based company that focuses on the development of the James Bay Niobium project that is located in Ontario, Canada. The uh, James Bay deposit has been discovered in 1966. Uh, following the discovery, uh, Exxon Mining uh, invested heavily in the uh, development of the uh, full feasibility study. Uh, and uh, following the final feasibility study, unfortunately, the project at that time was not economical and the project has been shelved. So we've uh, uh, discovered that, uh, we acquired that, that project roughly two years ago, and now we're in the process of uh, redoing a technical study to, uh, to, with the aim to bring that deposit into production. Well, uh, the first milestone was, uh, was obviously the acquisition of the asset. So uh, that was uh, completed in uh, June 2016. Uh, following the uh, June uh, 16 acquisition, we uh, we uh, starting to work on a, a program to uh, to uh, reevaluate the resource. So we managed to get a resource estimate, uh, 4201, uh, that was published uh, in October of last year, based on the heuristical uh, data. So uh, and that was filed in October. Uh, we received the exploration permit for an upcoming exploration program uh, early in January of this year. And our aim is to go and uh, to do, a, uh, to do a, a drilling program during the summer. Well, the team is actually a very small company for the time being. We're, uh, we're uh, uh, people, there is, a, there is a geologist, there is a, uh, a person responsible for the relationship with the government in the First Nation. Uh, we're working with uh, external firm for the uh, uh, engineering and also with our one of our major partner, which is a school Go Royalty. Uh, they're providing us with some technical uh, support. So uh, in terms of Naobe, we're at, uh, four employees, uh, but obviously we're surrounded by uh, a list of uh, very qualified people. Well, because we're uh, focusing on a, a, an Albion project, uh, um, there's not a lot of investors out there who ever heard about the, uh, no, uh, the word Naubium. And the, the, a lot of them actually even today real, didn't realize that in Naubium was an was a element on the periodic table. So uh, what we have to focus is first to, uh, to provide awareness to investors about uh, the, the usage of Naubium and the, the potential. And uh, the uh, other challenges is obviously to, uh, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to bring that uh, uh, economic study uh, in place so we'll be able to uh, show our investors the value of the asset that we currently have. So that's in the works. We're very optimistic about the, uh, the property. We have challenges to face that we're facing and we will go through them, but uh, it's, uh, it's an ongoing process that we have to get through anyway. Well, actually, it's for uh, after uh, uh, eight hours of one-to-one uh, -one meetings, actually, it's been pretty positive. Uh, it's my first experience with one-to-one -one mining, and especially the one in Hong Kong. Uh, I'm certainly going to uh, try the experience uh, uh, other city. Uh, but so far, it's been actually very good for us, uh, despite the fact that, uh, like I said earlier, uh, now we have, it's not a commodity that a lot of investors heard about. So uh, for, for the one that I took the time to to meet with us, I think they're very pleased with, uh, with what they heard so far.